New York City teenager Miles Morales struggles to live up to the expectations of his father, police officer Jefferson Davis, who sees Spider-Man as a menace. Miles adjusts to prep school and visits his uncle Aaron Davis, who takes him to an abandoned subway station to paint graffiti. Miles is bitten by a radioactive spider and gains spider-like abilities similar to Spider-Man. Returning to the station, Miles discovers a super collider built by Kingpin, who hopes to access parallel universes to bring back his dead wife and son, whose deaths he blames on Spider-Man. Miles watches as Spider-Man attempts to disable the collider while fighting Kingpin's enforcers, Green Goblin, and Prowler. Spider-Man saves Miles, but Green Goblin shoves Spider-Man into the collider, causing an explosion that kills Green Goblin and severely wounds Spider-Man. He gives Miles a USB flash drive to disable the collider, warning that the machine could destroy the city if reactivated. Watching in horror as Kingpin kills Spider-Man, Miles flees from Prowler. As the city mourns Spider-Man's death, Miles tries to honor his legacy and become the city's new superhero. Trying out his newfound abilities, he damages the USB drive. At Spider-Man's grave, Miles meets Peter B. Parker, an older, worn-down version of Spider-Man from another dimension. Upon meeting him, Miles discovers his ability to emit a bioelectric venom blast. Peter reluctantly agrees to train Miles in exchange for help stealing data to create a new drive. They infiltrate Kingpin's research facility, and Miles discovers he has the power to turn invisible. They are confronted by scientist Olivia Octavius, who determines that Peter will die from cellular decay if he remains in their dimension. Chased through the laboratory and surrounding forest by Octavius, Miles and Peter are rescued by Gwen Stacy, a spider woman from another dimension. They find Peter's aunt, May Parker, who is sheltering more spider people from other dimensions, Spider-Man Noir, Penny Parker, and Spider-Ham, who are also deteriorating. Miles offers to disable the collider so that others can return home, but they tell him he lacks experience. Distraught, Miles retreats to his Uncle Aaron's home, where he discovers that his uncle is Prowler. Miles returns to May's house, where Penny has completed the new drive. He is followed by Kingpin, Prowler, Octavius, Scorpion, and Tombstone. In the ensuing brawl, Miles is captured by Aaron and unmasks himself, unwilling to kill his own nephew. Aaron spares Miles, only to be fatally shot by Kingpin. Miles flees with Aaron, who tells him to keep going before dying. Jefferson arrives on the scene and Miles escapes, leading his father to believe Spider-Man killed Aaron. The heroes regroup at Miles' dorm room. Peter restrains Miles to ensure his safety and leaves with the others, choosing to sacrifice himself by staying behind and deactivating the collider. Jefferson arrives outside Miles' door and, assuming he does not want to speak to him, apologizes for his mistakes. Miles masters his powers and goes to May to acquire web shooters and repaint one of Peter's suits. He joins the heroes, defeating Kingpin's enforcers and using the USB drive to send them home. Kingpin fights Miles, attracting the attention of Jefferson, who realizes Spider-Man is not the enemy, and encourages him. Miles paralyzes Kingpin with his Venom Blast and throws him at the kill switch, destroying the collider. Kingpin and his enforcers are arrested and Jefferson recognizes Spider-Man as a hero while getting evidence that Kingpin killed Aaron and Peter Parker. Miles embraces the responsibilities of his new life. Back in their home dimensions, the heroes return to their lives. Peter prepares to fix his relationship with Mary Jane, and Gwen finds a way to contact Miles across dimensions. In a post credit scene, in another dimension, Miguel O'Hara travels to a 1967 New York City and argues with that universe's Spider-Man.